I'm going to go and I got a second coat of varnish to do on my painting and I thought it would be a good idea to actually show you how to apply varnish. Um, so grab your brush, have a great time. And don't forget without further ado, let me show you how to correctly apply varnish to a painting. So I've got a nice soft brush there and uh, this is, happens to be um, a short flat. Um, which I use specifically for varnishing. Now I've already varnished this once and I've gone up and down the paint in there. I've allowed the varnish to dry for 24 hours. Now I'm going to apply the second coat. Um, as I said, it's important to avoid air bubbles where you can. This is going to be a bit difficult for me working on this one. So I'm just going to load the brush like that. As you can see, just let the odd drip fall off. And then I'm going to start and I'm going to bring it down that way like this trying to avoid as many air bubbles as I can and then I'm just going to get some more varnish I'm going to try and go in one direction if I can that way left to right right to left without actually trying to go over what I've already done because once that starts to get tacky what you don't want to do is this you don't want to go you don't do that <laughs> that's not a good idea one it creates air bubbles and two it's going to once that gets a bit tacky it's going to start lifting rather than applying so all you need to do is put a nice liberal application on try not to go over yourself like that try not to try not to rework that line if you can help it it's not as easy as it looks <laughs> and um so yeah, I'm talking too much and I'm not concentrating enough. So you notice I went that way the first time and now I'm going that way. That way then, I'm not going to miss any bits. So if I varnished it this way, I might have missed a couple of pieces. So by going horizontal and vertical, then you were going to cover the whole entirety. That's got a bit thick there, I'm talking too much. <laughs> That's going to cover the whole painting then. And what I will do then is, I, I'm going to do, I do four coats in normal, four coats normally I should say, four coats normal, so I do one that way, one that way, I do another one that way, and then I do another one that way. So I'm going to continue with this, and the, the painting is coming alive, the painting is coming alive, it certainly is. Try not to rework what you've already done, <laughs> as he does it. But try not to rework what you've done. I'm trying to keep those brushes, strokes nice and smoothly apl applied. Don't go back up there now and start doing that again because it's already going tacky. It doesn't take long to, to get tacky, this stuff, but it does take a while to dry. I'm that in just a second. But this is our test canvas, so let's apply some varnish to that. Okay, so looking at our varnishes, we're gonna we're gonna apply a matte varnish to this particular one, and the reason I'm doing that is because I like the matte finish. But be careful you don't shake these, because you're going to get a lot of air bubbles in them. And get yourself um, a paintbrush. Make sure it is. Not contaminated and you need to stir this without agitating it too much because what's going to happen is you're going to generate air bubbles and air bubbles are our enemies as far as this is concerned now the reason I'm stirring this is because it's got a matting agent in it and it does settle so we need to get that incorporated into the varnish itself so we'll get a nice even coat of the mat over the painting. And then we'll just wipe our brush off like that with a bit of damp tissue paper. I'm gonna put that back in the rack. Again, our canvas, dip your brush don't overload it too much making sure there's no 
there's a little loose hair there I don't know why but there was okay and then we go from left to right overlap in slightly application another application now please please do not be tempted to go back over the same spot like that because if you do that it's going to cause you problems you're on a nice easy coat of varnish and this is why I said so that's not how to do it so this is what I said that you nice need a nice even coat of varnish now we need to let that dry because the next application we're going to do to that is go that way so when that's dry and what we why we do that is because if we go left to right and then horizontal and vertical we're not going to miss any spots at all so we'll leave that dry so let's have a an attempt now at our painting and again I'm going to put a matte varnish on this I'm just getting some varnish on my brush I'm going to start there like that and again I'm overlapping slightly I'm not going to go back over the first bit I'm going to get another little bit of varnish on my brush try not to overload the brush but on the other hand you've got to make sure you put enough varnish on and I'm constantly reloading my brush just to make sure that I've got enough varnish in the brush to get a nice even coat and this is a painting I did for the Christmas special in 2014 so if you want to go and have a look at that I'll put a link in the description I'm constantly loading my brush and the reason we use a synthetic brush is because it's nice and soft and it doesn't leave many brush strokes at all oops see I was see what I did then that was just easy as that it's easy as talking and not concentrating on what I was doing I actually went over a spot and I told you not to do that but there we go that's the first application of varnish I'm going to put my brush straight back in the pot so we put our lid securely on to our varnish because we don't want to drop that now you can use a gloss varnish or you can use a satin varnish or you can use a mixture of the two then that's all you need to do in exactly the same way now you can actually put a glaze of glazing medium um, over the surface of the painting I've been known to do that rather than varnish it but again glazing medium is a little bit like acrylic so you know it can it can get damaged so it, it, if you want to varnish a painting that's the way to actually varnish it so we need to put that safe now and make sure that there's no dust that's going to fall on that one and what I tend to do is I'll, I'll put it up against the wall like that with the back facing upwards so there's no dust will actually settle on it and I'll leave that there then for about 72 hours before I up actually apply some more varnish to it at a later stage so once you've done that I suggest you use warm soapy water uh, rinse this out in warm water go into some soap and rinse it back out in some warm water again and get this brush nice and clean make sure you go right down in there give it a really good brush against your hand or something other like soft surface and try and get as much of this varnish out as you can because once this is dry it's a nightmare to get out even with some um, acetone or something like that it's still very difficult to get out so make sure you wash this brush really well and keep this brush just for varnishing I don't varnish a lot of paintings now what you've got to remember is what I would suggest you do is stand that painting up against the wall and I'll show you that in another video to allow that to dry and then give it 24 hours and then set it one side and give it another week I would say to make sure that it really hardens off so you can recoat every 24 hours but once you finish your last coat 
then I would suggest you leave it for at least two weeks and let it cure and that way then it should be okay um, and that goes for matte and it goes for gloss and as I said in the eye cards there there's um, you, you can go in there I'll show you how to make some um, semi semi matte or satin or eggshell as they call it in the UK and that's it thank you very much for watching please press hashtag five five ad or Type hashtag five Clive five art Clive five, 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 five art hashtag Clive five art. <laughs> it's getting tired. Type in hashtag Clive five art in your YouTube search bar, and all my videos will pop up. I upload every Monday, so thank you very much, and don't forget to subscribe, please. Thank you. Bye.